What's up, everybody? Eric Beer here, and welcome to Performance Marketer Podcast. Today, we are going to ask ourselves a question. And the question is, what does starting a business have in common with watching a movie in reverse? Let's listen to the intro, and then uh, I'll give you the answer when we get back. The question is, what does starting a business and watching a movie in reverse have in common? Well, has anybody ever seen a movie a few times where they, they know exactly what happens and, and they can see scene for scene to the point where if you started from the end and rewinded, you'd be able to know every scene from the end all the way to the front. Or if you've ever watched and seen the movie and you know what's going to happen, but you still watch it. 25 times, right? You know the ending, but you love to watch the journey. You love to see how they get there. And uh, it got me really thinking when I, when I started thinking about how I started my business, when I had to write this book and I had to go all the way back from the days of starting to where I am today and, and sort of write this story myself, right? And um, after doing that, I was realizing a lot of things about how lucky I am and where I got because I I didn't have a plan. I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, certainly in the beginning, it was just just go at it, and you know, thankfully things worked out, right? But so as I start to go on today in my business, anybody that's listening and and paying attention to what's going on with me knows, you know, I have my company, Universal, but. Uh, and we work and we kill it and it's, it's fun and love it. But in parallel, I'm building Survey Detective, which is a, a survey platform. So software where ultimately I'm trying to create this platform to do what I do every day, what I've been doing for, for years, but in a way where I simplify it, where an entrepreneur or a marketer can come in and they can easily without having to have any tech skills or, or spend hours, create their surveys and, and get the result they want, right? Generate leads, cold leads, go out to the world, generate cold leads and convert customers. And, um, you know, I was showering the other day and I hear Allie in the, in the other room scream, ah, I'm in the book, I'm your rock. So like, I kind of laugh and, and, uh, it means that she she finally read the book, right? But then that got us talking because we we don't really talk about work that much. And uh, she started asking me a bunch of questions like, how's work? What are you working on? And then she asked me, like, what's going on with Server Detective? And um, she's like, when's it going to start? And I thought about it. And, you know, we're going through the developer phase. Uh, we're, we're, we're with the UI, the UX. And I realized... I can't give her an exact date. I, I know we're doing things. I, I mean, I see it. It's amazing. But like, holy cow. I, I really don't have a roadmap, right? Like, um, I invested in crypto. I, I really got into crypto a bunch of years ago. And as I started to learn about the space, uh, Bitcoin, VeChain, my favorite one, um, Cardano, Stellar, Ripple, Chainlink, Ethereum, they, they all have one thing in common. If you go to their sites when they're trying to get all these investors, they all have this roadmap where they show you from the start all the way to the end their plan of what they want to get done, right? And if you're going to invest in something, you want to know, okay, great. Well, well if it's not there, how are you going to get there? What's the steps? When's it going to happen? All that good jazz, right? And uh, I know my ending of Server Detective. I know exactly what the ending looks like. I know what the end of Server Detective's movie looks like, right? But I don't have my scenes laid out. I don't have a roadmap. I know the UI, UX guys, the programmers, the everybody involved, are, they're working. They're working hard and we're, we're getting things done. We've got a lot of awesome things done, right? Like we've got these things where it's pre-built surveys, right? Uh, I have uh, this this email sequence where it's already created for you and you just got to put some things in about your business and it's, and it's spits out a, a total email sequence for you at the end. Um, 
I, I, I can generate uh, the front end hooks for you. I, I can write scripts for you. You know, like I can give you pre-made templates that you just kind of tweak a little bit and it's yours, right? The idea of getting it fast. But like still at the end of the day, it's not getting me to the end result. A lot of these things are, are great and they're going to get me to the end of my movie, but every movie has these different scenes and every scene should have its own result to get to the end, building up the plot, right? And in my plot, I need to focus on the shorter term goals of what I need to get done to attain my longer term goals, right? So it's like the epiphany is <laughs> we're working our butts off, but a lot of things we're doing, which are amazing, aren't really needed to get to where I want for my phase one. Would it be great to have it? Absolutely. Uh, would I, would, would I love to have hundreds of thousands of subscribers? Absolutely. But you don't start at a hundred and thousand subscribers, right? If you looked at the movie to get there, right? Uh, there's going to be a time where it's 50,000 subscribers and then 25,000 and 10,000, right? And, um, you know, one customer and there's going to be that story that's like how he got started all the way to when he was successful, right? It's like looking at like Mark Zuckerberg's story when you watch the movie uh, and Facebook, how he went to college and, and it's really cool watching how it develops. We all know Mark Zuckerberg. We all know what Facebook is and how successful he is, but we all wanted to know how did he get there? Like, what was the, what was the journey? What was the process to get to where he is today? And that's really interesting. And, and any entrepreneur would love to watch this and see it. Right. And I know for me, I love that stuff. Uh, it, it just, it helps me break down and understand how to get to these goals that look amazing. And you're making hundreds of millions of dollars. Well, there's a movie to that. There's a start all the way to the end. That's a roadmap, right? And um, for me, as I started to ask myself these questions, I realized if I'm going to do this, well, I got to start with, well, what what do I want? Like, what What is that short-term goal? What is the short-term goal that I want to attain right now? And once I understood that, now... I can work from there and go in reverse, rewind my movie and be able to lay out all the things that are needed to get to that phase one result, phase two result, phase three, phase four, right? And I'm building a roadmap. It's, it's able to help me create a plan that I would then be able to look at and say, oh, well, this should be done by this date. This should be done by that date. And, uh, oh, it's looking like, uh, January 5th is when we're going to have this ready, right? Uh, February 1st when we're going to have this ready. Could, could we miss a, a deadline? Sure. That happens. Things come up, right? All the time. But the concept is if every person on their team knows their role, right? In the crypto roadmaps, if you go onto some of these sites and you look at Cardano's, uh, they have these, they show the people, um, that are developing it. They show, um, the scope of work for each of the, of them in, in, in process of the beginning of the foundation all the way to the end. And it's really cool. Like you get to see like how it's, how it's developing and, and how they're building these things and they're not done. Right. But, um, you could see how they laid it out. Then you can look at, Oh, what did they accomplish? And that's the things that I've realized for me is what needs to happen. And, and, and I know the answers, right? It's just working from what do I want to how do I get there? So like the message for you guys out there, the, you entrepreneurs who are out there hustling and then maybe you're struggling a little bit uh, like me, is uh, whatever you're doing, right? You got to think to yourself, what do I want the end goal to be? What is the result that I want to happen for me to now end up doing this, right? Because what, what's happening is you're doing all these things and you're working, right? And, and you don't even know necessarily what you're doing, <laughs> right? But you're getting things done and it's awesome. But like, you're still just not getting to the end, right? Like I see entrepreneurs all the time when I'm, when I'm talking to them about, you know, how they're starting their business. And um, I'll hear somebody say, um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to write a book first. You know, uh, but not for them to sell the book, 
but for them to have the, the free plus shipping offer on the front end, right? Well, you don't have a business yet. <laughs> so like, it's great that you want to write a book, but you, you can't start with this front end uh, lead magnet before you know what it is you're trying to get them to do at the end, right? When I'm building surveys, right? I see people that are, are using surveys or quizzes or assessments and, you know, they'll, they'll come in and they want to build out and they'll, they'll start thinking about what's the theme uh, or the hook of their survey, right? Or, um, what kind of questions should they be asking? You know, where are they going to send them afterwards? What, what's going to happen? And I'll tell you guys a little secret, right? As I build out my framework, my process, and I start thinking about what I do and the results that I've gotten by, by using surveys and how I start every single survey that I ever built. And it's a little secret, but I'm going to tell just you guys, which is I always ask myself, well, what is the goal of the survey? What do I want them to do? Do I want to drive a phone call to an application so that somebody can sign up for something that's a $10,000 product? Or am I looking to get somebody to sign up for uh, a challenge or buy a, a guide, right, where they're going to do it online versus um, if somebody's going to, you know, put their phone number in um, and then I want to get them into some uh, SMS sequence of events that is going to be sent to the users over a period of 10 days. Whatever that goal is, right? That's the, the goal of what I want to accomplish when I get to the end. So I'm working backwards of how do I get them there? And that helps me with all of the things in front of what I'm going to build to make it relatable to what the end goal is. So guys, my message for you, right? Is if you're, if you're struggling, if you're not getting what you want, if you're not in the place where you want it, or, you know, if I ask you, you know, how is your business where, you know, it's great, you know, it's good. I'm working on, on, on this, but you know, I'm not really there yet. You guys got to just stop and think about what is it that you want? What is it that you're looking to get at the end of whatever it is you're doing? What is it that your movie looks like when it's over? And you're going to surprise yourself because if you start to look at the end game and then you start to work in reverse, right? You're starting to rewind your movie. You're going to start to be able to identify what needs to happen to get there. And then you can then look at what you've been doing and maybe you realize, man, you know, it's great that I'm doing that, but it's not going to get me to where I want to be, right? And the thing is, is, you know how your movie ends. You know what you want. You just have to work in reverse. And that's the key, guys. The key, anytime I've ever been successful, I mean, when I look at when I was writing my book, you know, and I, I think back of the years to get to where I am today, <laughs> I, I kind of laugh because, you know, I, I definitely did this. I definitely knew what I wanted. There's not a question about that. And the times that I was successful, uh, there was a method to the madness, so to speak. Um, but I definitely didn't do it the way I should be doing it today. And I, I think back to the times when I go through all of the failures. And I'll tell you, there's a ton of failures. I, I promise there's, there's a good four or five major things that I've spent some, some good money on that didn't work. And then there's those little things that I do on a day, day in, day out, monthly, where I'm testing things that just don't work. And I think about it in a way that most of the time when, when I'm working on those big projects um, that didn't succeed, and I've got some really cool technology. I've got, um, I've got a technology that can um, be put onto a site and it will scan uh, all the content and then pull that content into a platform and allow you then to hyperlink any of those those words and make it clickable right so um, you could use it for uh, just navigating somebody's site by being able to find those words or um, using it as a, a marketing tool to 
uh, use advertising and create like an RTB platform. All these things that are awesome never happen, right? Because I didn't start with an end game of what is it I actually want to do with this technology. I have another technology um, where I'm able to take a, a badge, right? I built this from my social media business where um, originally, and the badge goes onto a site and within the badge uh, is um, something called the ad back where uh, we drop cookies. And then it gives us the ability to retarget anybody that lands on that page. So when you think about all the ways you can use that, think about it as, you know, an influencer has a hundred thousand people coming to their page reading about, uh, that new dress or the shoes that are coming out. And now you're able to pixel them, identify that they read that specific article. And now if that's linked up to Facebook, you can retarget those users, right? Um, it's all amazing, right? We, I came up with this whole thing of uh, um, different slangs of like, uh, what is like content to, to conversations to conversions, right? Like, you know, all cool, fun stuff. But at the end of the day, I didn't have the end result of how I was going to run that business. So I have it. It's there. Um, but I never really made something massive of it. We used it a little bit and, and, you know, I made a, a few bucks with it, uh, using it with some DMPs, um, you know, like, uh, the ability to, to monetize the data in like these exchanges, but it never became what I, what I dreamed of it to become. Um, I have a, a reward site that had members and, and the members come in and, and I know exactly what needs to happen. I know all of the things. But I never, I never sat down and had that roadmap. I built the technology. I'm able to reward users for taking actions. Uh, I have an extension where <laughs> I can, you know, take over your tab. And, um, what we do is we, we, um, allow you to organize all of your icons, right? It's, it's great. It's awesome. But like, still, you know, we just build stuff. It's just fun. We love it. Uh, but still, it just never really took off. And it was because of, we didn't do a good job building it things are amazing, right? It was, we didn't have a plan. We didn't start from, all right, well, I'm going to build this thing, but I'm doing it because this is the result that I want to get. This is the plan. And this is what I'm going to do to get to that plan. Right? So that's the stuff that I'm talking about, right? Like I have a ClickX business where it's all about, um, it's like a search exchange. Um, and that business is booming and it's booming because we know what we need to do, and now we work in reverse to figure out what types of products we're going to build to get them to the end result. We don't build the products and then figure out what are we going to do with them, right? And I've made that mistake, uh, but that's that's what happens, you know, when you're going through uh, building your your life, your business, and and for all you entrepreneurs out there, like. Fast track your mistakes. Learn from, from, from someone like me that, um, you don't just build products, right? And maybe you get lucky here or there. Uh, you don't build front end lead magnets and all kinds of fun low ticket items unless you know what the reason is that you're doing it, where you want to take the user. What's your core offer? What is the thing that you want to sell, right? Why is it that you're building that? You don't build that first. You, you have your core offer. You have your result. You have whatever it is that you want to do at the end of your movie. And now you figure out how you're going to get there. How you're going to get people there. All the different products you're going to build to get to that end result. So <laughs> if there's anything I can do, uh, for, for you today, it is to make you take a step back and think about it and say, well, What's the end game for me? What is the, what is my movie ending look like? And that'll help you with building out a roadmap for your business and it'll tell you what you need to do and in the order that you do it, right? We're doing a ton of stuff with Server Detective, but things are out of order. There's, there's things happening that I'm building that are going to be unbelievable when I have a hundred thousand users, <laughs> right? That's great. It's all great. But that shouldn't be what we're doing now. We shouldn't be working on that now. We work on that later, 
right? What do I need to do now to get to the end game of my short term goal of launching this thing, right? And, um, you know, when I start to think about that, I start to now backtrack and now I'm, I'm, I'm like, all right, well, let's push this aside. Let's, I want that, but let's, let's do that later. And here's the things that we need to do to get done. And let's start from, from here and let's get to where we want to be, which is, you know, the first launch where people are using it. And this is the 2.0 version, right? We already have a 1.0 version, but I'm just trying to give you guys some examples of things that, of how I would go about it, right? Like if I were to build a business today, start a business, right? Server Detective is me starting a bit. You guys are seeing me build that business. Like I'm talking about it. The reason why I'm talking about it is because I want people to know when I launch that, oh, I know what Server Detective is. It's a, it's a survey platform. Uh, it's great. It's for, for entrepreneurs and marketers that is really easy. It's got pre-built surveys. It, it'll take you less than 30 minutes to be able to come in, build a survey, and be able to generate leads and, and kill it. Generate tons of cold leads, cast a wide, a wide net out into the internet and then be able to nurture them and then convert them into customers, right? Um, or maybe you want to just start a lead gen business. But the whole point is the reason why I keep on bringing this up is because I want people to know about it, right? I want you, I want it to be in your, your mind that this tool, this, that, that's not out there. Like, okay, it's not out there. Not the way that I'm doing it. I mean, I've been in the direct response space for a very long time. I've been generating leads for a very long time. The way, like, it's, it's, it's crazy because the way that I'm thinking about it is like making me, my, my brain, like, I, I know how to do it, but to be able to simplify it and, and back it out into very simple, digestible content is not easy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really not, I, I could sit down and tell you everything, right? What usually happens is I, I end up running people over when I start to, explain it to them because I, I just go way too deep. I talk way too fast. And then I just, I go from, from A to, to Z and they're like, oh my God. Like they realize like, All right, this guy knows what he's talking about, but like he just like <laughs> barreled me over. Right. And, um, you know, I realize that and it's funny. I laugh at it all the time, but like, that's the stuff that I'm doing now. So like for me, when I'm, when I'm trying to build out like my trainings or, or a masterclass or a webinar, it's like, okay, well, let's start from the result of what I do and then work my way back. Right. I, I have discovery calls with clients all the time, right. To understand their business so that I can go and build a survey for them, build a campaign for them, figure out what it is that I'm going to be doing. Right? And I always start with, what is the goal? Like, what am I doing at the end of this survey? Right? Do these people want clicks? Do they want views? Do they want somebody to buy something? What is it? What are we doing? Right? And then understanding about the business so that I can now start to work my way backwards. Right? Understanding the who and all that good jazz. And then you start to build. Right? So um, I just thought it was it was it was helpful to come out here and tell you guys that because I see people making the mistake. I'm still making that mistake today. And I, <laughs> you know, I just have to kind of like, hello. Like when Ali asked me that, it was like, it just, it was like, oh my goodness, I don't have a roadmap, right? Like I can't really put a stake in the sand and tell you that. And I need to be able to do that. Right. And it's, it's good. It's, it, it was a good wake up call for me. And I wanted to put that out there for you guys that are a lot of really smart people. I see tons of really smart people that are struggling because they just can't put it together. They don't, they don't really know all of their parts and step by step by step. And, and I just, I think it's because you're starting from the beginning and you're trying to figure out how to get to the end goal, which, oh, I want to make money. Of course, everybody wants to make money. But what is it that you actually want to happen? Right? Do you want people to walk into your, to your office if you're a dentist or a chiropractor so that you can start to generate new customers? Great. So let's start to work backwards on where does that start? Like, what do you need? How do you grab somebody's attention and then get them through the process to get into your office? If you're somebody that's selling something on the phone, a high ticket, well, okay, great. If you're going to sell a $10,000 product, well, you're not going to close them day one. There's no way you're going to find some stranger who doesn't know anything about you or your business and they're going to take out their, their credit card and spend 10K on you 
because they don't know the value that you bring to the table yet. You need to show them. You need to be an authority. You need to get them to consume your content, right? So you're going to need, if, if you're using a survey, right, you're going to need time from when they complete the survey, because we're going and we're finding cold leads, to when you can start to try to sell them, right? Uh, so maybe you send them to a webinar right after the survey, and you got a good hour that you have their attention and they go right into you explaining your three secrets, going into the values and, and the results, and, and you do a bang job, right? Maybe you got them to sign up, or maybe, because you realize that it's a $10,000 program, maybe you get them into a challenge first, or, or buying maybe an ebook or, or a guide or something that is gonna start the selling process for you. But you can't do any of that until you know what it is you want at the end, right? You gotta know how you're gonna take that user to the end. And that all starts from, well, what ebook am I gonna give them? Well, I don't know, what is it I'm doing over here? What's the end goal? Right? If I'm if I'm teaching people how to play poker, well then, okay, let's start from here. Well then what kind of ebook would I want? Something around poker, right? Something that would be of value to poker players that they would be interested in getting. Maybe a checklist, right? Uh, strategies, whatever that is, that would start the process to get them to where they get me to be teaching them how to play poker and win, right? And win. Not just play poker and win. The results. I don't want to just play poker and lose money. I want to play poker and win, right? So, you know, guys, that's the message for today. Uh, that is how you look at starting a business is, uh, how you have something in common with, uh, the end of a movie, rewinding a movie. Uh, and I'll tell you, um, if you ever want to do it, it's, it's pretty interesting. Go watch a movie, but start with watching the last 20 minutes of the movie. And then turn it off after it's over and go and start it from the beginning. And now what's really cool, I used to do that when I was a kid because <laughs> I, I would go to a movie and me and my friends would want to see two movies in a day or three movies in a day. So we'd go to a movie, then we kind of sneak into another theater and we'd catch like the last 30 minutes of the movie. And I had no idea what just happened other than I just saw the, the, the 30 minutes from the awesome like holy cow to the end, right? Then I go back and see the movie again, and I know what happens. I know the ending. But the dynamic of watching how it unravels is just amazing to me. It's like, it's like mind blowing. It's like, how, well, okay, the person, you know, ended up here buying this crazy yacht, but how did they get there? What was the journey they, they, they took to get to that spot? Right? That's what's really cool. Right. If you guys are, are struggling and you want to do something in your space and you don't even know really what the result is, well, find somebody that is successful in your space. Try to understand their story. I promise you there's a, there's a roadmap for them on where they were where you were at one point in time. What are they doing? What is their business like today? If you are somebody that bought into a mastermind for 50K, well, think about when you did that, what was the first thing that got you started so that you could know who that was to a point where then you ended up paying 50 grand to be in a mastermind, right? Were you listening to the podcast? Did you see some videos? Did a friend introduce you to them? What was it that got your mind, right? They didn't start that for their business. You don't just start a podcast until you know whatever it is that you're going to be talking about and what the end result is right? For your business. So um, that's the message for today, guys. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, as always, if you have any questions, reach out. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, you know, subscribe to this if, you, if you're not, so you can get all the episodes when they come out in, in your podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all the content that we're putting out there. And um, other than that, uh, work hard and uh get going just do it guys yeah. believe in yourself because i believe in you all right guys have a good